Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is September 21st, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures, you'll see that they are trading higher by three and three quarter points to 29.43 and a quarter per contract. All in all, when you look at the futures, they were a bit lower here in negative territory, just by a hair, and now they're back into positive territory. It's been quite a week for the markets. We'll see how we finish up this week. This is an options expiration Friday. You're gonna have four different asset classes expiring. We call that quadruple witching. And again, uh, should be a wild end of the day. You're gonna have some rebalancing going on in different indexes, and we should get a little bit of amplified volume during a quadruple witch options X. So we'll see how this all plays out today. But in the meantime, let's take a look at stocks in the news. First one up here is going to be Micron. Micron trading at $44.75. The stock closed at $46.06. So I happen to see uh, Micron now uh, with very good support still around the $43 level. So keep that on the radar. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings and we'll see how it plays out. But Micron was all over the map after the close. You see a spike all the way above $48.50. Then a big, big flush once the press conference started all the way down to 4250 right now it's trading at 4470 so again microns all over the map today but i still think there's very good support around the 43 dollar level if that level fails then we'd have to go back to the drawing board but again micron reporting earnings this can also affect stocks like seagate stx is the ticker symbol there that's trading at 48 dollars right now down from 49 bucks also western digital w uh, DC that is trading at 59.80 down from 60.05. So there's a few other semis out here that can be affected by Micron's earnings. Next up, we want to take a look at UNFI, which is United Foods. Uh, this stock right now is really getting hit hard. Closed at 33.85, now trading at $30 a share. I would wait on this. There's really not a whole lot to do. You're at a support level at 30, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, once the opening bell rings, how this really opens up and settles out. United Foods has been in a downtrend for quite a while. Uh, you got to be a little bit careful with this one. We'll be looking at this one once the opening bell rings. There's nothing I would do with it now. Next up, we want to take a look at some M&A action here. M-Z-O-R, which is Mesa Robotics. Uh, looks like this is going to be acquired. Uh, <clears throat> stock right now is trading at... 57.95 great move it closed at 52.75 if you own it trail the stop loss if you don't own it i really wouldn't do much with it at the moment i'm um, just looking at the details here on Mazer. so it looks like it's going to be acquired by medtronic for 58.50 so uh, again you know really nothing to do there if you own it trail the stop loss if you don't own it Nothing really going on. If you want to take your money and you own it, that's a great thing to do as well. Let's take a look at AT&T today. It looks like they were upgraded. Stock is trading at 3402. That's a nice little pop. I think ultimately AT&T will stall around this area. There's a big, big gap window right around 3450. Let me show it to you here. If you take a look at the daily chart, you're going to see right here, big, big gap fill. And uh, you got to 20 uh, 200 day moving average there as well so that should be pretty good resistance overall let's take a look at uh, another earnings play uh, scs is the ticker symbol here looks like this is getting a pop this morning stock is trading at 1615 um, definitely getting a little bit overbought but we'll give it the upside bias to around 1725 that's where i think the big resistance starts to come in on SCS. So we'll see how that plays out. Next up, we want to take a look at UAA, which is Under Armour. Looks like, uh, let's go over to 10. Looks like this is trading at $20.37, closed at 20 bucks. This is on the back of an upgrade, so we'll see how that plays out later today. Let's take a look at Texas Instruments, TXN. This stock right now is trading at 110.50. Uh, closed at 108.49. So good pop. Looks like Texas Instruments raised their dividend. They also authorized a $12 billion additional $12 billion repurchase program. So that's a good pop there for Texas Instruments this morning. Stock trading at 110.50. I think Texas Instruments is headed 
ultimately up to around 114, but today you'll hit some good resistance around 111.50, but ultimately I do think there's even more upside in the cards for that name. All right, let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market, gold futures this morning, trading down almost $11, down $10.80. Let's take a look at the GLD. Ooh, GLD is getting smoked today. So gold is down, trading at, GLD is trading at 113.22, spot gold down over $10.50 right now to $1,200.70 an ounce. Gold is getting hit. That must mean the dollar is up. And sure enough, the dollar is up, but it's not up that much. But nonetheless, it is catching a bid today. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil is up 42 cents at $70.74 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good ETF to track crude oil, you see that's at $14.94. So oil hanging in there. The gold market, though, is getting absolutely slaughtered, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Um, once again, if you want to trade alongside of us, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great week. This has been just an awesome, awesome trading week in the chat room. It's been a great week overall. So, again, if you haven't done so, try out the intra in intraday stock chat room if you want to day trade. If not, come over to the research center. Check out our swing trades, and you could swing trade right alongside of us. Another good week, and options has also been pretty good as well. So, with that, I'm going to leave it there short and sweet. I want to wish you all a great trading session, and we'll see you all on the charts.